welcome back to the Baking Bay's YouTube channel. It's our basic series. All right, so in this video, I'm just going to show you the difference between a stiff royal icing and a flood consistency royal icing. Um, so if you are new to decorating cookies with royal icing, a flood consistency means a consistency that you are you that you are able to use to fill in the entirety of your cookie. So it might be your base layer, that might be your whole decoration. Um, whereas a stiff consistency is just as the name implies, stiff, and it's good for things like 3D designs. So I have my royal icing here. It's just a plain white royal icing. And this is the stiff royal icing. You see that it is barely falling off the spatula. It is falling off, but it's very slow. Very slow. Um, and for just for a basic royal icing recipe, um, there are two different methods you can use. I prefer powdered sugar, meringue powder, and water for my three components, whereas my counterpart, Krista, my buttercream bay, she makes her royal icing with just egg whites and meringue, um, I'm sorry, and powdered sugar. So you can test out those two methods and figure out which one works best for you. Neither is wrong. Um, and they're, they both get great results if you know what you're doing. All right, so I'm going to put the stiff royal icing into a regular piping bag because I'm going to add a tip to it because um, that'll allow me to do certain designs with the royal icing. Um, if you haven't seen Krista's video on how to fill a, a piping bag, you should go and watch that. But you fill a piping bag with royal icing the same way that you fill a piping bag with buttercream. You can make your hand into a cup shape, fold the piping bag over, and just take a scoop of your royal icing and throw it in the bag. Oops. Broke my spatula. It's not really broken. These are designed to come apart. Um, I talked about that in another video, actually. But yeah, just scoop that into the bag, the desired amount. And one trick that I learned from another cookier is the helicopter method. So sometimes the royal icing will get stuck and you want to move it down in the bag, but there's air pockets and blah, 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 right? You can't get what you want. So what you do, you hold the bag at the tip and literally spin it like a helicopter. Um, you should do this pointing downward because it'll it'll drive the butter. I'm um, sorry, the royal icing down the bag to the point where you want it. Um, you could also just use like a rubber spatula or something to push the icing down the bag. But the helicopter method is a little more fun. Um, so you're going to twist the bag so the icing doesn't come out the top when you're decorating, and then you're going to cut uh, the tip of the bag so that you can. Squeeze your icing out. All right. So with that, I have my icing and you can just pipe. And if you are someone who uses buttercream, um, you do it the same way that you would use buttercream. So I am not doing any sort of specific design. Um, 3D designs are not my forte, but if you notice, because the icing is stiff, it allows me to do things that are up higher. So we have some um, depth there. Is that the right word? Height, sorry, not depth, height. We have some height <laughs> <laughs> to our designs, things like that. So that's what you can do with a stiff icing. Whereas with a um, flood consistency icing, you cannot do the same types of things. And I will also say with a stiff icing, you can go on top of your designs without waiting for a dry time in this, the same amount of dry time that you would wait for with a flood consistency. So something like that. This is a very poor ribbony flower, but you know, this is just so you can see the difference. So there's that, right? That's my stiff peak. So for my flood consistency i'm going to use the same icing i'm just going to add more water now when you're adding water to your royal icing to loosen it a little goes a very long way so just as a point of reference for 
My typical royal icing recipe, I will use four cups of powdered sugar and I'll only use five tablespoons of water. So just to give you an idea of the ratio of water to um, water to sugar and the amount that you need to actually thin it. So I'm actually going to just add a teaspoon to start off and then I'm going to mix my icing um, to try to get it to a thinner consistency. I know that um, that teaspoon is probably not enough for what I'm going for, um, but I just wanted to show you that. So I'm gonna add another teaspoon. And again, I'm not going to add a ridiculous amount of water all at once. Once you combine it, you can see how quickly that's starting to loosen up. It'll scrape off the sides. And so now it's falling right off the spatula, whereas before it was staying on there. So you have to be very careful with royal icing in water because um, if you do too much water, then you're going to end up with really loose icing. So I think this is perfect for the consistency that I want. You can see that it's kind of making a ribbon as it falls into the cup. So with this icing, I'm gonna use the tipless piping bag Tipless, it's called tipless because it doesn't need a tip. That makes sense, right, folks? All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. If you don't wanna use this method to fill a piping bag, you can always put your piping bag in a cup and fold it over the top of the cup. Um, it gives you the same effect and folding it over the cup is a little less messy. So same thing, fill the bag as much as you want it to be filled. We're gonna tap into my helicopter, get those air bubbles out. All right, that's good enough. Um, So you can just twist the bag and hold it, or with these tipless piping bags, because they're so thin, um, if you don't overfill them, you should be able to tie a knot in the top just like that. And then I'm going to grab a cookie just to show you guys how to do a flood. Um, people always make fun of me for saying this during classes, but when you're cutting the tip of the bag, cut us, if you're not sure how much to cut, cut very small. And then if you realize you're squeezing too hard um, when decorating your cookie, then cut more. You don't want to cut too big too soon because you can always make the hole bigger, but you can't make it smaller. All right, so we're going to cut that tip. Once you do this enough, you can eyeball how much you need. Um, but in the beginning, really just take your time and start small. And so when you're flooding a cookie, you do need an outline first. Um, some decorators use a different consistency for their outline and their flood. Not me. Um, part of it is because I'm lazy and I live by the philosophy, work smarter, not harder. So if I can find an easy way, easier way to do things, I will. Um, and then when you're flooding, you just fill in the shape. There, is, there are different schools of thought on how to fill in a shape. Some people prefer to trace the outline of the shape all the way around until they get to the center. Me, myself, personally, I just like to go back and forth all the way down the shape until it's filled all the way in. All right, so we're just going down like that and we can see that this is immediately settling. Um, and I didn't give my outline time to dry, so it is spilling over the side a little bit. So when you do an outline, if you're using the same consistency, do give it a second just to give it a little bit of crust to prevent your icing from filling over the sides like that. But I just wanted you guys to see the difference between a stiff consistency and a flood consistency. So these stiff designs are still holding their peaks and their shape. Whereas my flood consistency has settled and it's also dripping off the sides because I use way too much icing. Um, but that's it. The basic of stiff and flood consistency royal icing. Take your time with this process. Be patient. That has been my biggest lesson. I'm still learning it every day. Right, Krista? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Make sure you check out the rest of our basic series. And if you're not already, follow us on YouTube and Instagram at the, with two E's, Baking Base. And I'll see you next time.